Thank you so much for watching the KC Auction video blog today. My name is Jason Roskin, the owner of the KC Auction Appraisal Company here in Kansas City. And I'm excited to bring you our weekly update, which is something we do regularly. Talk about what's happened in the auction industry at the KC Auction Company last week. And of course, the first thing I'll talk about is our brand new intro video. I want to thank my brother, Brent Roski, an Emmy award-winning creator uh, based in Des Moines now, but was in LA for a long time. And he created that little intro video for us. And I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, it's, it's a pretty fun thing, right? So <clears throat> what's happened around the KC Auction Company this week? We've had our busiest week ever. We had three auctions close within 72 hours, 72 hours, 48 hours, something like that. We had an auction Sunday night, Monday night, and Wednesday night. Uh, all three went really well, a wide variety of things, including the Symphony and the Flint Hills auction, which was obviously uh, a much anticipated event. They uh, had to cancel the event, of course, but we went ahead with the art auction. We had planned to do that online from the beginning and uh, continued with that. And we're happy to support not only the mission of the Symphony and the Flint Hills, but also the artists involved. There were 29 artists, uh, there was 53 works in the auction, and uh, really happy. Had, Bidders from around the country honestly had people from Texas, Vermont, Wisconsin, Oregon, Florida, Arkansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. I think those are all the states. If I missed one, I apologize. We had uh, we have 71 bidders for that. No, 84 bidders for that. And over 31,000 lot views for those pieces of work. And uh, really excited to be able to work with them on that this year and hope to be able to continue that relationship going forward. You know, we've been involved with the Symphony of the Flint Hills for many years now uh, as a partner uh, of their events and doing online when it's been necessary before because of weather or, or related. Uh, and this year, the, the idea to go online early to, was, was in place early, long before Corona was a thought, but uh, we're glad that we decided to go ahead and move forward with it on the artists could use the funds from selling a piece or two of artwork, the recognition they get from that, and of course the symphony and the Flint Hills mission, the tall grass prairie uh, is so important to our local e ecosystem that uh, we're really glad we could do that. Uh, if you're watching any questions, go ahead and post them below uh, and we'll be happy to answer them as we go along. So we had, like I said, we had three auctions this week, not only the symphony and the Flint Hills auction, which was Sunday, we had our own in-house auction, which was the King Textile auction uh, the, the final solo shot for that estate, the uh, family from up in Platt, the Parkville area, Platt City, and had a shop in Parkville. Uh, that went really well. We had bidders from around the country in that as well. And then Wednesday night, we had our first major rack auction, Remote Associates of Casey Auction Company, uh, Loman uh, Auction Services up in Smithville, and I worked together. We worked together to get that auction prepared and ready to go. Um, he's up there today. Alan is up there today meeting people to pick things up. That's a new product line we've had here at the KC Auction Company that's directly uh, in response directly to Corona and the pandemic. We've been talking about that for quite some time, but during this time that we had off, not off, that we had to do, we had time that we weren't working as normally. We put the tools in place to allow people to sell on our platform. And we've had two, uh, we, have, we had Wellens close Wednesday. We have another one closing next week. And then we had two more people approach us to join in with those ranks. So that's gonna be a regular feature on our auctions is, is auctions from other vendors using our platform. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to where you're buying things from. Uh, many people thought they were coming here to the, to the office or that I was going to be in Smithfield today to bring things back to the office. Neither one of those things are the case. So make sure you read where these items are located going forward. Um, if it's on a Monday night, we're going to reserve Monday nights for our auctions that we do. But if it's on a different night, odds are the items are not in our location. Uh, just to give you an idea of the kind of reach that we get for our clients, which I think is truly important, right? We're a marketing company as much as an auction company. The three auctions this week had over 61,000 lot views, 289 registered bidders, and 2,400 plus bids were placed on those lots. Um, the bids place might seem a little low, but that's because you have to remember the Symphony and the Flint Hills auction, uh, those had higher starting bids, so there wasn't the bidding activity per se, but there was a lot of action and a lot of interest in that auction. And so we're really, really happy about that. Things coming up, like I talked about the other rack auction over by KU Med Center that's ending next week, some really interesting art, uh, bronzes, some silver in there, some really nice pieces. 
I've known those sellers for a long time. Uh, truly great people and excited to help them. These are all antique dealers who can't do shows right now. Uh, I, used to, I used to do antique shows around the country. And when I realized that my friends couldn't go around the country selling their wares anymore uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, that's when we prompted us to go ahead and open up the rack auction idea. And uh, we're happy that we were able to do that. Uh, yesterday, we signed a contract with the Albrecht Kemper Museum of Art up in St. Joseph. Their Pot of Gold auction, their Pot of Gold event and auction was scheduled to take place a, couple, a few weeks ago. Obviously, that was canceled. But again, we're going to move, put their auction online. And uh, that the dates are on the, account, on the on website right now. But we're excited to work with them to get that auction online and still continue their message, bring the items to people, and give people a chance to support a, a, another wonderful art museum. <clears throat> Here at the office, we are working on our next auction. We have uh, 350 to 400 lots for a consignment auction coming up, including some pieces that are historically important. Uh, if any of you are familiar with the movie Monuments Men and who or what they were, uh, you need to pay attention to the next auction. We'll be making a press release next week and talking about that, but we're really excited about that. We have some really nice jewelry, some wonderful European smalls, like porcelains, glassware, um, things like that, a, a big group of artwork, and then a really wonderful dining room set. Uh, housing market's been crazy, right? So you uh, folks who've been selling homes or buying homes and need a really wonderful, traditional, well-made dining room set, make sure you pay attention to that auction coming up. Um, and then uh, lastly, the, the gardens here, uh, you probably saw pictures of it last week. Uh, our hostas are looking amazing here. We had our spring cleaning done. Our pots should be potted the, to any day now. So next time you come to the office, it should be really pretty again. Uh, so a lot of things are kind of creeping back to normal. We're still working in the Corona world, right? We still have the pandemic on our minds. We're wearing masks here when people come in, those who have to come in. Uh, we're bringing things to cars for people picking things up. But uh, yeah, we're, we're really excited about where we're at and what's coming up. Talking to a lot of people around the country right now about some major collections, and hopefully we can uh, talk about those here soon. Also, want to let you guys know, uh, two weeks, we are talking to John Chasky and Kate Avery. Um, a special video blog here, want to interview two professionals in the industry. John is an antique dealer in, uh, in D Delaware. He uh, has an amazing eye, and he is a, and these are young people. These are, I think both of them are in their 30s. We're going to be talking about what he's doing, and not only, you know, the, the breadth of things he's selling, how he's selling them, how what he's doing to try and attract younger buyers. And Kate Avery is up in Massachusetts, uh, started Hair, Air and Space Log several years ago. Now she does most of her things on Facebook and Instagram. Really creative woman, uh, does some really neat things with antique furniture, restores, refinishes, um, and then repurposes. A lot of antique furniture, the reason it gets thrown away is because it's damaged, and she's doing some really neat things to bring it back to life and give it a second, third, or fourth life sometimes. And she likes to talk about the things that she's finding on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist out in, the, uh, in her area. And so I'm excited about that. Three weeks, Tracy Cayley, you know, a lot of you know Tracy Cayley from uh, working with us with jewelry, I want to interview her about uh, jewelry appraisals, uh, trends in the marketplace, and things along those lines. So we're going to start doing more interviews during our video blog here, and excited about that coming forward. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, if you have que just questions about our business, our website's always open, kcauctioncompany.com, you know there anytime, uh, and there's a lot of information there about what we do, how we do it, upcoming and previous auctions. But if you have questions you'd like to me to me for me to address here on our video blog or just personally uh, through the business, info at kcauctioncompany.com is a great way to do that. And you can always give us a call at 816-283-3633, 816-283-3633. Again, thank you all so much for watching the KC Auction video blog this week, a uh, weekly show that we do uh, talking about our business, the auction business at large, and we're excited about what's going on. One last thing I want to mention really quickly, uh, KC Studio Magazine that um, that we were featured in about a year, year and a half ago, they are doing a really interesting thing coming up where they're going to feature nothing but black artists on their website. And I don't know if that's going to relay into a magazine or not, but KC Studio Magazine is going to do that here pretty soon. Harold Smith, a well-known local artist, 
Uh, one of the local black artists is organizing that. And uh, we're very happy to found that out last night and put the information on our Facebook page here. Uh, that's going to be a really interesting thing to see. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.